you just wanted good things for Mr. Egg. And really, you and you're a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of rebound relationships. You are tired of having to deal with all the moronic homophobes in this fandom. Everyone assumes you to be one of those moronic homophobes. But you probably aren't. You are a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of getting dunked on. Your ideal high school romance is nerd jock. Jock doc. Goth nerd. Nerd nerd. Jock jock. Teacher. The master? Sure. You know how in Among Us Logic 11, Gnome was tired of the constant over singing of the game tune songs? That's because you over listen to them. You like the dynamics of play egg and play ninja, etc., but. Angel. You are a firm believer in keeping things canon and keeping things wholesome. Here, you mix gentle cheese and play cheese into a stew to create the ultimate beanie boy dynamic. You don't care about the actual interactions characters have, you just like their dynamics and ship them based on that. Also, you're a member of AULU. You are a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of abortion. And you're also a member of AULU. You couldn't care less about the dynamics of characters and just ship them based on how they interact. Also, you're a member of HELL. You are a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of mourning someone's death. Also, you have no sense of boundaries. You are a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of mourning your own death. Same joke as Blue Egg, but you stand with it. You love overconfident, pessimistic jocks that aren't quite edgelords so much that one day you were like, you know what's better than one overconfident, pessimistic jock that isn't quite an edgelord? Two, uh, whatever. You are a firm believer of making a bunch of headcanons for characters that desperately need development. Same joke as Broner, but with a strong leader type. You just want good things for Baggy. And really, you win. The only reason you're still somewhat interested in Game Tunes Gaming is to search for ship moments between these two. You have seized the perfect blend of canon and fanon and have reached transcendence. Enemies to lovers. You love it. You are a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of a male being friends with a female. I mean, really? Really? When there are two widely conflicting ships, you don't understand why people don't just ship the poly version of them. Because we need more poly representation. Why don't more people do this? You like the dynamic of play vet, but you like blue more. Your ideal relationship dynamic is just girls being friends, gals being pals. You are somehow a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of Twitch simps. You are somehow a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of Alabama and Twitch simps. You just wanted good things for Captain, and really you wouldn't. You respectfully disagree with playcat shippers and don't immediately start wars with them when you see one. Unlike other conflicting ships. You are a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of secret option C. You just wanted good things for noob, and really... You know what, I think I can think of a few people who wouldn't. Wow, you really like enemies to lovers. Like, this is a big extent. You started shipping this ironically... But that didn't last long. You definitely have the mindset that AUL has gone down since the first few episodes. You have pretty much the opposite mindset because you work at GameTunes. <laughs>